He says, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter responds, yes, I love you. Then feed my sheep. A second time, verse 16, Jesus asked Simon, or Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know I love you. As I read through this exchange then between Jesus and Peter, after Peter had already denied him three times, if you see the relation, he denied him three times. And commentators will say that uh, uh, to the same number of times that he, uh, he denied Jesus, that Jesus asked him three separate times, do you love me? I, wanna, I, I, I believe that through this exchange, one of the things that we see, if we look at this carefully in John 21, that, that Jesus was, was, was asking Peter yet again, are you my disciple? Will you be my disciple? And in that, he was reminding Peter, I believe, that there is a cost to being my disciple. Will you be reminded of our commitment to Christ because sheep. he paid the penalty for your sin? with his body, his life, do you love him? The quick answer that we will give is, yes, I love Jesus, but do you really? Yes, I love Jesus, but do you understand the commitments that you've made to it is Christ? It's needful that we be reminded of our commitment to Christ, our willingness to be a disciple, because you are his mouthpiece. You know, when you lose who your identity is or who your identity is, you begin to speak on your own. But you are a child of God. You are a child of the king. You were are, you are bought with a price. And now you are God's mouthpiece. And now what you say, what you think, what you do, what we all do should not be of our own, but it should be of what Christ or what God would have us to say. So we have to be reminded of our... Because, you know, we, we're so...